I'm pushing 50, guys. That was easy, okay? That was easy. E-bike rules. Remember, remember this, okay? You can have a great time and, and not break a sweat and get from point A to point B. Um, today is a, a, an exciting day for our city. Uh, last week, we had the pleasure of uh, visiting uh, Silicon Valley, uh, discuss with our peer city leaders and leaders in technology uh, the future of transportation. How, um, if we appropriately address mobility issues, how we certainly could become the city of the 21st century. Uh, as society adapts to different means of getting around from bikes and, to, and scooters to autonomous vehicles, it's in intriguing to see how cities that, are, that adapt are going to be the ones that prosper. Um, we're excited about today's big step for the city of Columbia. I'd like to give special thanks uh, again to Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina uh, for making this happen, uh, to our incredible um, uh, BPAC uh, that's helped lead us uh, forward. I want to give um, special thanks to our amazing city staff. Uh, Teresa and our entire team uh, has been um, leading the way in, in pushing Columbia and sometimes dragging Columbia forward uh, uh, to where we need uh, to be. Uh, I want to give a great credit to uh, my, my colleague, our Mayor Pro Tem, Tamika Devine, uh, for her leadership in helping establish BPAC and constantly uh, advocating for healthier living uh, across this city. And we're excited to welcome Bowegian uh, to Columbia. Uh, they, I'm not sure, um, Elaine may tell you again, I think, I think we, this may be their, is it 42? 40 second launch, 40 second launch. Uh, so we are, um, we're excited about what this means to not just for downtown workers, uh, but for our, 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 our young people and our millennials and our perennials, everyone uh, who's going to uh, re reshape the way they think about mobility across the city of Columbia. I do hope that everyone takes the time to ride uh, and, and see exactly how easy uh, uh, the system is uh, to access, how easy it is to get around the city of Columbia. Some of you may know, Currently in our city, we have three miles, uh, over three miles of bike boulevards. One mile of the Vista, Vista Greenway is open. Uh, two blocks of the Inner Vista Trail open. 5.7 miles of Sharrows. 9.5 miles of bike lanes across the city. 15 miles of shared youth pass, use pass alongside roadways and park facilities. And approximately 17.4 miles of off-road shared paths in the Harbison State Forest. Uh, we, have, um, uh, we have only just begun to see the potential of addressing our mobility possibilities here in Columbia, South Carolina, and we're so excited about what is coming next. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Scott Graves. Scott is the president of the Private Business Division at Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina, a wonderful uh, partner in, in this effort, and we want to thank them for their generosity. Scott? So good morning. It's certainly a pleasure to be with you all today. I am Scott Graves with Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina. Certainly pleased to be here representing Blue Cross at the official launch of Columbia's Bike Share Program. On behalf of myself and my colleagues, we're pleased to be the title sponsor uh, of this program. Our involvement is the culmination of several years of hard work, a lot of dialogue between the city and, and the partners here today. And what I would say is that bringing a vision, a vision like this to life takes time. We've had many conversations and multiple reviews of information. And ultimately, we elected to support the mayor and his vision for Columbia because Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina has a long history of investing in the communities in which we serve. And we truly believe in this particular effort. We are a South Carolina-based health plan dedicated to helping our members make good decisions about their health care. It also aligns with our brand, which encourages a healthy lifestyle. The health benefits of cycling are well recognized, plus it's a fun and affordable way to see the city from a new perspective. And much like the mayor said, I would encourage each of you all to come out and ride the bikes. And as the mayor alluded to in his comments, bike share programs are quickly becoming an expected transportation source in cities all across the country. And so now Columbia has joined other forward-looking communities and is proudly on that list. So again, we are certainly glad to be a part in bringing this effort to life, and we look forward to seeing the blue bikes all across Columbia. Thank you very much. And now the CEO of Bowegian Technologies, Elaine Ayotte.
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, the city of uh, uh, Colombia, to having us, to have uh, trust in uh, our product and our uh, capability. I uh, want to thank Blue Cross Blue Shield of uh, South Carolina uh, to being the, the uh, title sponsor. I'm very excited, like Mayor uh, Benjamin mentioned, it's my 42nd launch, uh, but I'm still exciting as if it was my first one, because I know it will change the way your city moves. We are bringing real alternative of transportation for the citizen and tourists of uh, Colombia. Um, you will, uh, please, I will reiterate um, what uh, Mayor Benjamin uh, mentioned. Try it, give it a try, buy a pass, you will enjoy it. It's a, you will see a different way of uh, visiting your city um, and moving around. It will uh, allow you to uh, uh, go further uh, without breaking a sweat, uh, be able to access places you probably won't do it uh, by foot. Um, so please enjoy it. You will be also well served by our partner uh, Corp Logistic uh, that is a veteran owned business that hire veteran to, uh, to uh, serve your community and serve the program. So I'm sure you will be well served by them and I'm sure you will enjoy uh, our new product. Thank you very much. Elaine also uh, told me that it's about 32 degrees in uh, Montreal right now, so we should expect to see a lot of him over the next uh, several months. Uh, now, um, um, as Elaine mentioned, uh, Jim Duffney is the CEO of Core Logistics. I want to invite him to the microphone. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the City of Columbia. This is the easiest launch we've ever had because of the, the, the staff and the people and the relationship we have. Here are some of the people that we've hired here locally in Columbia. And the goal here is to move our call center and our dispatch functions to the City of Columbia and create jobs in the city of Columbia and there's some of the veterans who you guys thank God because you guys give them the opportunity to make a difference in your city. I always say that bike share is a gift, you know, because you help people and look at all the people you're helping. So thank you very much. We'll be here. You'll see us around. I will give you a free promo code if you see me. So come see me. And I'm so happy to be here. And, you know, I just retired from the military this past year, 38 years. And uh, yes, sir. Appreciate that. And uh, you'll see us on the street, so appreciate the police the letting us park in the middle of the road sometime and do some of the stuff. We really appreciate that, sir. And uh, thank you very much. So, so I have a proclamation I have to read. Um, Whereas Blue Bike is Columbia's new bike share program that provides an innovative and fun transportation option. Yes, come. And whereas due to the generosity of Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina to act as a lead sponsor for the new bike share initiative, uh, phase one of the Blue Bike program will launch 135 bikes and 15 stations. And whereas the system will be managed by Bluegen, a Canadian company with bike share programs across the country and around the world and operated by Core Logistics, a veteran-owned and staff company, whereas the bike share program is an important component of the Walk Bike Columbia plan champ championed by the Bicycle Pedestrian Advisory Committee, BPAC, and adopted by City Council to advance the culture of bicycling, walking, and transit, and whereas bike share contributes to a more walkable, bikeable, and livable city, it expands transportation options in a manner that is environmentally friendly and fun. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Monday, October 8, 2018, is hereby designated as Blue Bike Day, in the city of Columbia in conjunction with the celebration of the launch of the Blue Bike Share Program. Scott?